So often in JavaScript and other programming languages, there is a imperative way to kind of loop over an array using an index and incrementing it by one until it reaches a certain point. So if we look at this for loop where we have four let i is equal to zero, i less than numbers out of length and i plus plus. And this is basically just creating a variable called i and incrementing it from zero to one to two until it reaches the end of the array. And we are printing this out in the console down here. So if I go ahead and run this code, you'll see that prints out negative four, negative two and zero. So there's actually a cleaner way to do this in JavaScript that you should probably do by default if you have the uh, option to. So instead of doing all this extra stuff, what we can do is we can say let number of numbers. The keyword of is basically going to grab the element of the array as it loops through. And now you have access to the actual element itself. So if I change this up a little bit and run this code, you will see that it prints out the exact same results as the other for loop. This is probably a little bit cleaner to understand and read. So I recommend that you do this approach. If you ever need to do like async await on a for loop, this is also a good way to do it as well because you can actually await on different functions here.